Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Ashley and today's video is all about how to use the team manager feature within Club V1. Okay, so I'm now logged into my Club V1 account. As you can see along the top, we've got an option called competitions. Within the competition section, we've then got subheaders. And on the far right hand side, we've got one called team manager. So in order to access the team manager feature, we then need to click on this option. And as you can see here, this is where we are going to manage all of our club teams. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is now create a club team. And what you can do if you've got individuals at the club that look after particular teams, for example, there's somebody that looks after just the junior team, you can create them a user role within Club V1 and give them permission only to access the team manager feature. Um, rather than being able to see the club financials, T-sheet, website. So they'll log into Club V1 and their permission would be to only see the team manager. So that is a good way to allow um, the squad managers to access Club V1 and manage this feature without obviously seeing anything else on your system. So the first thing we're going to do is now create a team. So on the left-hand side, we've got a plus button here that says Add New Team. And you can see now we need to enter some basic details to get this team set up. So the first one would be team name. So today we're going to set up the men's scratch team. And in a description, this is just to allow people that are looking to join the team understand a little bit more about it. So we're going to add that it's the West Midlands League um, and just the men's scratch team. So if we add this, you can now see on the left-hand side, it's created the team for me. And just to the right of that, I can now see the full information with regards to squad, fixtures and availability. Okay, so you do have the option to upload a team logo. So in order to do so, if we click on this icon here, you've then got the option to upload from your computer or from webcam. So I'm just going to upload an image from my computer. And again, you can then crop the image to size. And once happy, we then click save. And as you can see, the team logo has now been updated. Okay, so the next step would be to input any upcoming fixtures for the season. Um, to do so, you can see we've got an option here to add a new fixture. And the first field is the opponent for this fixture. So for today's example, we're going to use Barrett Golf Club. Description is going to be uh, it's going to be a friendly match against Barrett Golf Club at home. You've then got the option to mark this as a diary event or not. So if we select yes, that will show up in the Club V1 Members Hub under the diary section, um, just so other members are aware of the, the fixture going on on that day. So it's up to you if you want to mark that as yes or no. Then got the option to set the start date and time. So this one's going to be Saturday the 27th and the start time is going to be nine o'clock. And we're going to say the end time will be 11 o'clock. So for me, that is going to be the fixtures. Um, the start times and the tea times will be nine to 11. Um, and you can now see we've got an option to enter the venue below. So this is a home match. So we're going to set Picking Golf Club. And then finally, you've got an option to specify a meetup time. So if we tick this, we can say we're going to meet on the driving range. And that is going to be at 8.30. So within that fixture now, you can see we've got the option to send this information out to our squad. Um, so they know we're going to meet at the driving range at half eight um, with the tea time starting from nine o'clock through to 11 o'clock. So once happy with that fixture, you can then click confirm. And as you can see, that has now created that fixture on the 27th of Feb against Barrett Golf Club. OK, so the next step would be to create the squad. So in order to do so, we need to click on the squad option here. And as you can see, we've got zero members in the squad at the moment. Uh, in order to create and add members to this squad, we've got two options. 
We can log into Club V1 and under the Team Manager feature like we are here, we can use the plus button to manually add members to the squad. And this will not need any approval by the member. They will be added in and automatically then added to that squad list. So as you can see on the left-hand side, this is all the players that have got um, handicap indexes at my club. So Reese Armstrong, I'm going to click and that will move him to the right-hand side. And again with Zane Avery. So those two players have been moved into the right-hand side. And if I confirm, you can now see I've got these two members as part of my squad. If I wanted to remove them, again, you can see on the right hand side now, I can click remove from squad and that will take them back out. The other option would be for members to go into their Club V1 members hub. So as you can see, I'm logged in as David Jones here. And using the club drop down, we've got a club teams option. Within the club teams, Members can then view all of the available teams. So as you can see, the men's scratch team is now here. And using the drop down, the member can view the team details. So as you can see here, we've got the description we set earlier on. Um, it will not show any upcoming fixtures until that person has been approved to be part of the squad. And in order to do so, you can see we've got an apply now button here. Are you sure you want to apply to join this team? And we click yes, and that request has then been submitted. So as you can see on the left-hand side, the application is now pending. If we change our mind, we can then withdraw the application, um, and that will cancel that application and won't be sent through to the team manager. Okay, so as soon as somebody applies to be part of that team, if we go back into Club V1, the team manager then that is looking after the men's scratch team, on the dashboard, will receive a pending member application. So as you can see, David Jones has applied to be part of this squad. Then we've got the option to accept or reject that player. So if we click on accept, the application has now been approved and that will add David Jones into our squad. So we've gone from two members now to three. So just to look at that now from a member's perspective, if we go back in and refresh this, you can now see that David Jones is a member of the team. He can now view the upcoming fixtures and has the option to set his availability for all fixtures. So once the player has been accepted, he can then go into the fixtures and view them all one by one and basically say if he's available or unavailable for that date and time. So as a member now, I'm going to set my availability for this fixture. So available and OK. And this now will be sent back to the team manager for the squad manager to basically then pick the team based on the availability of the squad members. OK, so if we go back into the back office team manager, you can see under this fixture now we've got an option to pick the match team. Um, and before we do so, it may be worth going to the availability tab and just checking the availability of each player in the squad for that particular fixture. So you can see David Jones here has made made you aware that he is available for the match versus Barrett Golf Club, whereas Zane and Reese haven't yet responded to this fixture. So based on this information, we can go back into the fixture and select pick match team. And you can see at the moment, there are no selected players for this fixture. Um, and also no reserves. So on the left hand side, we can see again, David has got a tick next to his name. So we're going to pick David. Reese and Zane haven't yet responded, but that doesn't mean you cannot pick them for the fixture. But obviously, they may change their mind down the line if you've picked them and they then can't play. Um, so just be aware of that. It may be worth popping them an email first and then just chasing them up before you put them in. But for today's example, we're going to pop Reese in. And I'm going to put Zane Avery on the reserve list. So once happy with the squad, we can then click confirm. And that has added those players in now for this fixture as the match team against Barrett Golf Club. 
If I wanted to email, um, say, the available players, so if we've got 10, 15 squad members that are available, and before picking the squad, we wanted to send out a message, we can click Email Available Players and send them an email direct from this feature. Once you have picked the match team, you can then email match team. So if you've got any changes to the fixture, any information that you want to get out before the event, you can pop a subject in and enter the body of the email and click send. That will go to the team only. And likewise, we've got the app notification tab here. So for all the members that have got the Club V1 Members Hub downloaded on their phone as the app, we can pop in change of start time, for example, enter the details here and click send, and that will send a push notification to all the members that are in that match team. If you needed to cancel the event, you can click the delete option here, and obviously that will take out the fixture from the team manager and the diary if you were to set that uh, within the options. Okay, so let's just go back to the Club V1 Members Hub. So again, I'm logged in here as David Jones as a member and part of this squad. Um, if I need to change my availability for the Barrett Golf Club fixture, for example, I can use the drop down here and view details. And you can see under availability, we've got the option then to put unavailable and OK. So now for this event, I'm now unavailable. So back within the back office team manager, if I go back to pick a match team, you can see that has changed my availability to unavailable. So the team manager can now take me off and confirm. The team manager is a great feature to keep on top of your club teams to allow people access to Club V1 to manage those teams specifically, um, set all the fixtures for the season and then allow your members to join the squad through the Club V1 Members Hub to set their availability for each fixture and that allows you as the manager then to pick the match team for every fixture based on that availability and more importantly be able to communicate with those match team members um, via email and through app notifications. I hope that's given you an overview of how the team manager feature works within Club V1. Um, this video could be useful to send to your members in order to understand how to apply for the squad set their fixture availability and also to pass on to any team managers that may be looking to utilise this feature for their club teams moving forwards.